صرف اخلاص خلوص مینلی فور دا پریج اف اللہ سبحانہ و تعالی نو ادر تھاٹ اللہ اکبر اونلی عبادت اف اللہ فرام دا ٹائم دے ہیو بین کریٹڈ ان دا سٹیٹ اف قیام فرام دا ٹائم دے ہیو بین کریٹڈ ان دا سٹیٹ اف رکوع فرام دا ٹائم دے ہیو بین کریٹڈ ان دا سٹیٹ اف میکنگ تسبیح اینڈ گلوریفائنگ اللہ سبحانہ و تعالی تب بھی یک اللہ سبحانہ و تعالی کریٹڈ اس ان اللہ سبحانہ و تعالی مینشن دی ہولی قران وما خلقت الجن والانس الا ليعبدوا Allah has created us for his ibadat. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala already has that makhluk that are making ibadat of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Why? Now Allah ma ikbal now. He, he unfolds the mystery. He says, Darde dil ke waaste paida kiya insan. Warna ibadat ke liye kuch kam na the kar ho baya. What is the use of making ibadat of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala going in sajda when the heart is not clean? Jab dil mein hasad hai. When there is hasad in the heart, when there is jealousy in the heart, when there is malice in the heart, kina hai, bugs hai, when there is enmity in the heart, animosity in the heart, Allah hu akbar. With that heart we should go in the state of sajda? With that heart we should go in sajda? Nain, nain, nain. Dar de dil ke. When Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam migrated, my respected brothers and sisters, ye nasiyat hum sab ke liye, it is for all of us. The reason why I have this mic in my hand, and i have this fancy topi on my head and this sadri is because i spent a few years in dar but we are all in the same boat we are all ummatis of rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam i don't have a vip ticket to jannat nay astaghfirullah you are my muslim brothers and sisters and i am your muslim brother i make dua for you you make dua for me allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give all of us the tawfiq and hidayah to make amal Maybe, maybe, you know, sometimes it happens where our brothers and sisters feel like, no, I think Muhammad Sahib is excluding himself from the nasiyat. No, I include myself in the nasiyat. Allah give all of us the tawfiq and hidayah to make amal. This is a man feel that is get the biggest nasiyat. No Maulana, no Mufti Sahib needs to give you any nasiyat. Whenever you come for any mafil of isale sawab, whether it is three days, ten days, forty days, the mafil itself should be biggest nasiyat for you. Biggest nasiya should be the mafil. Forty days ago, Maruma was with us. This is what the mafil is saying. Forty days ago, because it's Charlie's wife. Forty days. So it's come out of forty days ago, Maruma was with us. She was smiling. She was laughing. She was with her family members. Where is she today? Kaha hai? She is in the kabrastan. Waha par ab saying Ashraf Bai got tears in his eyes. Other family members got tears in their eyes. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with tears in their eyes Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala whatever dua they are making Allah qubul fa'l Ameen But no matter how much we love our parents or Ashraf Bhai ki maa hai marhuma mother Allah Allah All our mothers and our fathers our parents that are alive Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala my parents are in this suit I was 13 years old when I left home and I started Alim course I was 13 years old more than half of my life in dar as a student then as a teacher allah akbar i'm not going to disclose my age uh, lekin i was 13 years old tab se and my parents are in lesotho my father is also old some of our brothers know my father he came to the masjid he been lecturing in the masjid hamare shaukat bhai hain ahmed bhai hence we is old also my mother is also old allah subhanahu wa ta'ala preserve them grant them a long healthy life with afia all our parents and for those that have left this world in the state of iman allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant them jannah tul firdaus as much as we love our parents abi 40 days and marhuma is in her qabr all alone and as much as ashraf bai loves her he can't go and be there with her in the qabr wahan pe kya kaam aayega there we are all alone the only companion with us in our graves our amal our actions our amal our actions our good deeds and the rahmat of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala but i said as long as we are alive we are governed by the divine laws of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala namaz you have to read namaz you have to read zakat is fast upon you you have to give zakat you have to fast in the month of ramadan you have to make tilawat of the holy quran this is our investment for the year after ab hum duniya mein we are living in this world i'm healthy alhamdulillah so what i do i have planned myself 
what's going to happen now 20 years down the line. So that's my investment for dunya. But I have no guarantee. I have no guarantee that this morning I saw the sun rising, this evening I'll see the sun setting. No guarantee. There is no guarantee. Yet we do our investments in dunya. But it is very, very important. And the most wise believer, the, the Sahaba Ikram came to the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and said, Ya Rasulullah Sallallahu Ta'ala Alaihi Wasallam Ayyul Mu'minina Akhiyas Say Subhanallah the Sahaba Ikram asked a very, very important question. You know, Ayyul Mu'minina Akhiyas Ya Rasulullah Sallallahu Ta'ala Alaihi Wasallam Who is the most smart believer? Who is the most wise believer? Who is the most intelligent believer? Sabse Chalak. Who is the most smart? Who are these people? These are the companions of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. We are actually talking about the smartest believers, the most intelligent believers, those personalities that spend their time in the company of Rasulullah sallallahu taala alaihi wasallam. We are talking about those personalities that were in the battlefield with Rasulullah sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam those personalities that gave their life for Rasulullah sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam what is the question? Ayyul mu'minina akiyas Ya Rasulullah who is the most wise, the most intelligent the most smart, the smartest believer so the Holy Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam didn't say the person who reads the most namaz or the person who makes the tilawat of the Holy Quran the most or the person who gives the most charity, no. The Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, You see, you have to read namaz. You have to give zakat. You have to make tilawat of the Holy Quran. But there should be something, a thought in your mind, something in the heart that should drive you towards it. That should drive you towards the masjid. That should drive you towards making tilawat of the Holy Quran. That should drive you towards giving sadaqah and charity in the path of Allah drive you towards performing good deeds. And that is what Rasulullah mentioned. The namaz bad me. You know, if I have to tell you, go read namaz. You, I need to actually create something in you, instill something in you, give you that mindset that should drive you to the masjid. That should drive you to the masjid. That no, I'm going for salah. No matter what's happening, whether it's storming or raining, I'm going to the masjid. And that is what Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam mentioned. He says, lil The most wise, the smartest, the most intelligent believer is the one who remembers his death the most. His death the most. Allah Akbar. His death the most. It is very important that we remember our mouth. Ki ek din mar ki jana. Every time we take our marhum into the Qabristan, every janaza speaks to us. And every janaza gives us this nasihat. And what is the nasihat? A shayar beautifully says in the Urdu language, Maud se kis korus Every janaza. You know, we go to the Qabrastan, every janaza speaks to us, ki maud se kis korus te gari hai. Aaj mein kal teri baari hai. Aaj mein kal teri baari hai. And if we remember our maud constantly and we prepare for life after that, inshallah, all, that will also help us purify our hearts. This hasad, this jealousy, this nafrat, this hatred that we have in our hearts is going to purify our hearts. So Allah Iqbal beautifully says, Ibadat, Ibadat ke liye kuch kam na te karo baya. He says, for Ibadat of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, every makhluk, every creation, in Surah Al-Rahman, what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says? Surah Al-Rahman, we all know Al-Rahman allama al-Qur'an, khalaq al-insana allamahu, الشَّمْسُ وَالْقَمَرُ بِحُسْبَةٍ وَالنَّجْمُ وَالشَّجَرُ يَسْجُدَةٍ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Holy Quran that these trees, وَالنَّجْمُ وَالشَّجَرُ Shajar means trees, Najm means green plants. Green, green? Green plants. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says these green plants and these... You see, look at this tree here. They are making sajda to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They are making ibadat of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We can't understand it. It's beyond our understanding. It is beyond our comprehension. But the Holy Quran says this, so you have to bring Iman upon it. That they are making dhikr of Allah, they are glorifying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they are making sajda to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. 
every makhluk. Imagine how deprived is that insan. We, you know, we all make dua, like we make dua for marhuma, we make dua for ourselves, we make dua for all our brothers and sisters that Allah grant us Jannatul Firdaus. Jannat is a great name of Allah. Jannat is a great, it is actually the mazhar of the rida and the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah is pleased with his servants, then he blesses them with Jannat. This is the inam, this is the tofa, this is a hadya, a gift. Gift of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Jannat. Jannat is not for these trees that are making dhikr of Allah or making ibadat of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Every makhluk and creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is glorifying Allah, making ibadat of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But Jannat is only for Hazrat Insan. Hazrat Insan for us. Right now in this mafil, everyone is a Hazrat. Everyone is a Hazrat. Why? Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made you Hazrat. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has crowned you with the crown of humanity. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has honored you. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has praised you in the Holy Quran. Laqad khalaqna insana fi ahsani taqwi. Ashraful makhluqat hazrati insan. Noble creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Jannat is for us. It is mentioned that even pious and believing jinns, jinns, Jannat is not for them. It is only for insan. So imagine. If every makhluk, every creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, these mountains, the ocean, the water, the trees and the plants, these stones are making dhikr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Every morning when the sun rises, when the sun sets, makes dhikr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Glorifies Allah, makes ibadat of Allah. When the stars are shining, what are they doing? Glorifying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In the morning when the birds are chirping, what are they doing? Allah ki tasbih, glorifying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Jannat is not for them. Jannat is for us. Jannat is for Hazrat Insan. Imagine how deprived, how mis- how unfortunate, how unlucky is that Insan who doesn't remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Jannat uske liye. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has placed the crown of humanity on his head. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us the tawfiq and hidayah. Every time we go in sajda, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala purify our hearts. Our sajda should be made for the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala.